Tonight, Billy, Luis, and Viver enter the trivia arena looking to win thousands of fake dollars by working as a team. The only thing standing in their way? The Chasers. The chase is on. Hello, everyone, and welcome to another episode of The Chase, the trivia game show, where three of my friends take on one of our esteemed trivia chasers to see if they can take them down to win thousands and thousands of fake dollars and all the glory that is associated with victory. Um, excited to have another episode for you here tonight, and uh, I have three of my best international friends here to um, to play in this game tonight. Uh, we will start with someone whose information I just learned that just shook me to my core, but, you know, that's not important. <laughs> Bye, <bro. laughs> Hi. Hello. Um, uh, I promise oh, yes, that please. I will not be the weakest link this time. <laughs> Wrong show, but still applicable. Um, next up, um, you know, I'm not sure exactly when this episode will air, but the glory is all the same. The winner of ETU returned to Jumanji still <laughs> is Louise Thurkle. <laughs> Hello, I promise I will be the weakest link this time. <laughs> and finally making his like fifth, sixth or seventh uh, appearance on the chase. I don't know, I've lost track at this point. It's Billy. I have a belief. Oh, wow. From, from memory. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nah, quite a, quite a few times now. Um, I'm just happy. I'm just, yeah, I'm really happy. International international uh, group. This is fucking sick. Um, if there's still US geography questions, though, Josh, we're going to have a fucking problem. <laughs> I do my best. <laughs> I've done my best. Um, yeah, the, how many times have you won amongst those five or however? Um, good question. I think I think only once um who was that uh, against it was with, it was with um danny DeAngelis and then um i don't know some guy from tiktok i can't remember who was name. the chaser do you remember uh do you remember his uh name? it was uh, eric i think oh okay yeah all right well let's get started here i feel like i'm gonna be expected to have some shooketh reaction to the chaser <laughs> we'll get we'll get to that in a moment um we love even if even if you're not actually shook, if you give me a great reaction, that's good television. Um, in the meantime, you have one minute to answer as many questions as you can correct here in the cash builder to take that fake money against our chaser in a few moments. Are you ready? Sure. Your time begins now. What sketch comedy show has the most Emmys in history? Pass. SNL, what name the product with this slogan, the snack that smiles back? Fishies? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Goldfish. Uh, what car company makes the Santa Fe and Elantra models? Has. Shit, the fish should count. <laughs> uh, World War <laughs> One began in what decade? Uh, 1910s. Correct. Who wrote The Count of Monte Cristo? Pass. Alexander Dumas. What is 28 times 3? 28 times 3. 80, 84. Correct. Uh, what is the last name of drag personality RuPaul? Uh, Charles. Correct. Spell espionage. E S P I O N A G E. Espionage. That is correct. And we're not going to have time for another question. But four correct answers is very good, especially because uh, you kind of have a little shaky start, but you picked it up there at the end. Uh, so four correct Fuck, answers. I, I should have gotten the fucking fish ones because <laughs> that yeah. was a guess. um well it is now time to find out which chaser we will be facing this evening tonight's chaser intros a poem there once was a chaser named lizzie who was so very sweet she was very good at trivia she rarely took defeat max is the guy who loves to learn max he did study and tonight victory he might earn he's not here to be your buddy Andy is the lockout. His brain is an endless vessel. In tonight's back and forth of trivia, will it be Andy you will wrestle? Sam's our newest chaser. This is her rookie season. Don't underestimate her intellect. If you lose, that might be the reason. 
Amanda is the science gal, we've even deemed her mad. When you lose to her tonight, I'm sure you'll be very sad. Eric the King of Wordplay is here to perplex. With every correct answer he gives, it'll be his brain that he will flex. Jeff is from Texas and he's a dad here to win another game. For when he catches every team, the chaser trophy he will claim. Which chaser are we hoping to face tonight? I don't even know who they are, to be honest. <laughs> yeah. Well, I know I could have could have changed I could have changed from the last time that it's largely um, the same. Okay, okay. I'm trying to think. Okay, there's a couple chasers who beat me that I wouldn't mind getting revenge on. Lizzie, Teddy, um, Vogel. Is it, is it, if you <laughs> give us, if you give us Jeff Ellis in the international round, you're an asshole. Yeah. yeah. No, I was gonna say. I was gonna say. I wouldn't be shocked to see Jeffrey. What? Wait. Why? What does that mean? Because Jeff is probably, from what I've seen, the best one. Oh, oh, oh! oh. I thought like. Good. <laughs> he is good. I, I just, like you, you said because of the international thing i was like is is te- him being from texas like the most american you can be <laughs> like <laughs> yes. no i just mean like we already He's, have it's not correct. i'm sorry i don't know what the fuck snl like i know what snl is but do i look like i watch it <laughs> <laughs> this chaser has been here since the very beginning of hometowns to chase she is one of the nicest most smiley most fun people you will ever know it is in fact Lizzie, the crab, the, the Lizzie, the crab tree. Lizzie, the socialite Travis. She's no longer crab tree. Oh, <laughs> yes. Tra- yes. Yes. Right. Right. <laughs> no longer crab tree. Hey, oh, hey. Lizzie, Hi. I feel like I just saw you yesterday. <laughs> I guess you did. Hopefully, different outcome this time. <laughs> That uh, that remains to be seen. I'll let you guys settle your whatever you know, you have between you. Uh, and, uh, maybe it's just in trivia. We'll just deal with it here. <laughs> All righty, let's do this. Lizzie, how are you? I am a okay. I'm I'm married. I'm a married woman, and I'm ready to win. <laughs> All right, let's see if we can get you a win tonight. If you take the money that you earned, uh, you will be five steps away from home and we'll need five correct answers to bank the money and go to the final chase. You can make your job a little easier and take the low offer of $800. That will only require four correct answers to get home to the final chase. Or you can be daring and bold and brave and take the high offer of $25,000, needing six correct, correct answers, only two steps away from the chaser to get to the final chase. Now, of course, the money is not real money. So the, uh, the the catch here is if you take the middle offer and get home, that will be a plus one head start in the final chase for your team. If you take the low offer, a little easier to get to the final chase, but it will cost you a step in the final chase. If you go high, it'll give you a plus two head start in the final chase, which would be a great start for the team. Let's bring everyone back in to discuss what you might do. Um, I... I, I don't feel like ballsy, but I also don't want to lowball it. I feel like the middle ground is good enough. Like I've looked at it earlier and I'm like, I know this is, I think multiple choice. Um, but even then I don't always have the best guessing skills. I mean, maybe I'll get lucky and I know like everything, but I would still rather play with the plus one. Yeah. I think yeah, the middle offer that. is the best one. Yeah, rock with that, I'm down. All four thousand British pounds, Josh. <laughs> For four thousand <laughs> British pounds, the chase is on. Lizzie and Viber will lock in their answers to the same multiple choice question. Every time that Lizzie gets one right, she'll move down the board. Every time Alex gets one right, he'll move down the board. If Lizzie ever chase or ever catches him, he will be out and not see the final chase um you can both submit your answers in the discord chats that we've been using so lizzie you can just dm me and uh, alex you can just use the chat that we have made okay. um and um all right without further ado here is your first question which tree species is commonly used to make pencils a willow b cedar or c pine You know, <laughs> you both locked in with cedar, and you are both correct. Shout out to the shout trees. out to the trees. <laughs> All right, though controversial when used as an additive, MSG naturally occurs in high levels in which of these foods? A coconuts, B 
B, coffee beans, or C, tomatoes? All right. Lizzie has gone with coffee beans. Alex has gone with tomatoes. The correct answer is tomatoes. I know my food shit. <laughs> it's an all that savory shit in there. <laughs> um, how many Tour de France did Lance Armstrong win? Five, six, or seven? It's sports, but we're not complaining because it's international sports. <laughs> Um, I'll give you that one. Um, Lizzie has gone with seven. <laughs> Alex went with five. The correct answer is seven, and Lizzie moves on down the board. No. <laughs> the will in the first name of film star Will Smith is short for what? A. Willem, B. Willard, or C. Willis? You both go with B. Willard, and you are both correct. Let's go, Willard. <laughs> I see why he went with Will. Allodoxophobia is the irrational fear of what? A. Opinions. B. The structural integrity of a building. Or C. Long pants. <laughs> All right. Alex went with um, A. Opinions. Lizzie went with long pants. And the correct answer is the fear of your opinion. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god i can't even make a homophobic joke for the phobia one <laughs> uh what color is not present on the flag of somalia a blue b white or c green all right lizzie's gone with blue alex has gone with green the correct answer is green and just like that you are headed to the final chase good job Yay! oh my god i did well <laughs> you did you did very well all right next is louise and uh louise is going second because um in the uh, in the event that they do poorly um they did not want to be remembered <laughs> <laughs> it's true no one remembers the middle <laughs> But what if you do great? Will you still be will you be remembered? Then it'll be like so spectacular. Like, do you remember the one in the middle? Yeah. Amazing. See? Amazing. It works both ways. It does work both ways. In my head, it's just don't flop, don't flop, don't flop. <laughs> All right. Well, one minute to not flop. Are you ready? Yeah. Your time begins. Now, according to the phrase, revenge is a dish best served what? Cold? Correct. In the Batman comics, what villain is known as the Clown Prince? The Joker? Correct. What color were the swimsuits on the TV show Baywatch? Red. Correct. CAD is the currency code of what country? Canada. Correct. Mowgli was raised by what animals in the Jungle Book? Bear. Wolves. In baseball, how many balls constitute a base on balls? Four. Correct. Who wrote the music for the musical Hamilton? Uh, Lin Manuel Miranda. Correct. What is the chemical symbol for plutonium? P. P U. What is ninety-one minus fifty-five? Forty-two. That's wrong. <laughs> Thirty-six. Spell spectacular. S P E C T A C U L A R. At the buzzer. That is correct. Good job. Seven correct answers. Very well done. Not a flop. Not a flop at all. No. All right. Well, you can take the $7,000 that you earned and the plus one head start, um, or you can go low for the negative one head start, which would be a net zero at the current moment because Alex got you one, or you can go for big money, big money, 40K plus two head start. Let's bring our friends back in to discuss. Hello, friends. Hello. Do what you got to do. Listen to your heart. <laughs> that was beautiful. I, I'm, you kind of ate that, though. Uh, yeah, I'm not going to be able to evoke emotion like that. But yeah, that what what uh, what Viper said. Um, I'll, I would personally rather see you back uh, at the final test. Is what I, what I say, so do what you feel comfortable. Yes, confidence, not cockiness. I think middle middle was good. 
Alrighty. What? I clicked the wrong one. That's the one. <laughs> All right. Then for the $7,000 and another step in the final chase, the chase is on. Which of the following flavors of Mountain Dew was discontinued in 2015 before a brief return in 2023? A, Code Red, B, Voltage, or C, Pitch Black? All right, Louise has gone with Code Red. Lizzie has gone with Pitch Black, and the correct answer is Pitch Black. Lizzie's on the board. <laughs> Is it like is the drink itself black? It's it's like a purpley black. <laughs> oh. Anyway. Interesting. Uh, which of these fruits is botanically a, also a berry? Which of these fruits is botanically also a berry? A apple, B cherry, or C banana? Oh, that's a flop idea. You both lock in with banana and that is correct. It is technically a berry. Fun fact. Who are Shadow, Speedy, Bashful, and Pokey? Are they A, Pac-Man's ghosts? Or Pac-Man ghosts? B, Peter Rabbit's siblings? Or C, Gumby's pets? All right, Lizzie has gone with Pac-Man ghosts. Louise has gone with Peter Rabbit's siblings. The correct answer is Pac-Man ghosts. And Lizzie takes a step closer. We are in Big danger, flop. <laughs> danger territory here. Actor Ryan Gosling once turned down an opportunity to join what boy band? A. Backstreet Boys, B. In Sync, or C. 98 Degrees? All right. We once again have two differing answers. Louise has gone with In Sync. Lizzie has gone with 98 degrees. The correct answer is Backstreet Boys and we stay alive. <laughs> ah! <laughs> Stop giggling. <laughs> I can't help it. I just, I like to see your face. <laughs> I love you. The word galaxy comes from the Greek word for what? A, milk, B, honey, or C, wine. All right, we have two different answers once again, and this time one of them is correct. Lizzie has gone with A, milk. Louise yeah. has gone with a B, honey, and the correct answer is milk, and Lizzie has caught Louise. Oh, my strategy of going in the middle was right. <laughs> yeah, you, to be forgotten. To be forgotten. Louise, you have been caught, and for you, the chase is over. Redemption! <laughs> <laughs> All righty. Good job, Lizzie. Thank you. Uh, I could die uh, happy. One, yeah, one, <laughs> one out of two so far. Let's see if you can uh, take Billy on, which I know would make you die even happier. Um, <laughs> oh, I just, I'll, I'll just be frothing at the fucking idea. <laughs> yeah, oh, for uh, sure. This is the only person that's caught me throughout my chase history, too. So this is, I, 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 I'm very ready for it. Oh, interesting. And Lizzie, you're going to catch Billy on an NBA question because you put in Doc Rivers, and that is correct. <laughs> All right, one minute on the clock. Your time begins. Now, James Cameron directed the first film of what Arnold Schwarzenegger series? Terminator. Correct. What is the process used by plants to convert light energy into chemical injury? energy? Energy. Cor correct. Spell visionary. V-I-S-I-O-N-A-R-Y. Correct. Major League Baseball has permanently retired the number 42 in honor of what player? Babe Ruth. Jackie Robinson. What does the abbreviation IQ stand for? Intelligence. Question. <laughs> Intelligence quotient. How many pawns does each player start with in a game of chess? A. Correct. In 2020, Ash Barty was the number one ranked player in what sport? Tennis. Correct. Opened in 1946, what is the oldest casino still standing on the Vegas Strip? Bellagio the flamingo uh the smooth part of the forehead between the eyebrows is called the what 
but I have no idea possible. The glabella. What is the square root of 144? 12. Correct, right at the buzzer. Six correct answers. Very well done. We'll take that money to face Lizzie. <laughs> Hello, darling. <laughs> Hello, Billy. I am ready for a repeat here. <laughs> uh, please. <laughs> well, as a team right now, you sit at a plus one head start. You can make that plus two by taking the 6000 that you earned. You can go low and you would end up breaking even with no, uh, no head start and the $1,000. Uh, or you can go high, get that thing up to a three-step uh, head start with a 35. You'd be a little bit closer to Lizzie. Let's bring Alex back in to discuss so intelligence question yeah <laughs> so, so maybe i should take the low up <laughs> um last okay i remember i do remember first when i went lizzie i took the higher option because i wanted to like i wanted to beat her but like she destroyed me within the first few questions so i'm gonna keep it in the middle and like keep it modest enough give me a, go ahead I support you. and then just uh, it's okay like, you got this so, Thank you. All right, we'll see what happens. Does he, All right. Does he have this? We will well, find out. And for $6,000. Intelligence $6, question is, is not <laughs> like we look great right now. <laughs> the chase is on. Which of the following programs is a video editing software? A, Audacity, B, Logic Pro, or C, Premiere Pro? And you both get that one correct. It is C, Premiere Pro. They both have to edit lip-sync videos. Let's be real. Yeah, yeah I, I use it on my computer. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> As do I. Uh, urinating on a jellyfish sting does not ease the pain. It's a myth popularized by what sitcom? A, Seinfeld, B, Friends, or C, The Office? All right, Lizzie goes with a Seinfeld. Billy goes with B friends, and the correct answer is friends. And Billy moves on down the board. Yep. <laughs> no, no, the episode like the back of my hand. Oh, do you? Yeah. That seems yeah. on brand that you like friends. <laughs> yeah. I love no, I, I love I love friends. I love friends. RIP Matthew Perry. What was the title of the first video uploaded to YouTube? A me at the zoo. B Pepsi Super Bowl commercial. Or C Charlie bit my finger. Both got it correct, and that is uh, A, me, me at the zoo, not meet me at the zoo. My goodness. <laughs> In the painting, The Last Supper, how many people are depicted? A, 11, B, 12, or C, 13? You both lock in with C, 13. It is, of course, Jesus and his 12 disciples. That is correct. Shout out to Catholic school. <laughs> <laughs> right. Yep. All right. Well, one more. Can I get you home here, Billy? And here is the question. Swampy's Revenge is a sequel to what classic video game? A, Frogger, B, Pac-Man, or C, Space Invaders? You both log in, uh, uh, lock in with Frogger, and that is correct. And Billy's headed right back to the final chase. Short and sweet. Good job. In the final chase, it's all or nothing as our team has two minutes and a two-step advantage to answer as many questions as they can correctly. I have two sets of questions, set A and set B. Our team has chosen set B for Billy, not A for Alex. Are we ready? Yes. Your time begins... Now, Billy, what is the chemical symbol for oxygen? R. Correct. Alex, obey your thirst is a slogan used by what soft drink? Uh, pass. Sprite. Billy, often hiding her face with a wig, what pop singer's name sounds like a way of saying goodbye? Yeah. Correct. Uh, Alex, what is 59 minus 62? Uh, minus three. Correct. Billy, in what family of instruments is a clarinet? Woodwind. Correct. Alex, what ancient Roman city is the title of the 2013 top 10 hit for Bastille? Uh, Pompeii. Correct. Billy, in what 1992 movie does Whoopi Goldberg's character get put under protection and starts a choir? Sister Zack. Correct. Uh, Alex, Marshall Mathers is a rapper that goes by what stage name? 
Pass. Eminem. Billy, what two colors are found in IKEA's logo? Yellow and blue. Correct. Alex, what NBA team does LeBron James play for? Fuck that. Pass. The Lakers. Billy, what is the default web browser for Apple products? Safari. Correct. Alex, in the Bible, who spoke to a burning bush? Jesus. Moses. Billy, on the second day of Christmas, what did my true love give to me? To <laughs> pass. Two turtle doves. Alex, who is the Greek god of archery? Uh, Artemis or Eris? Artemis? Apollo. Billy, what Apollo. Italian city's public transportation system features water buses called Vaporetti? Rome. Venice. Uh, Alex, according to the phrase, how many times a day is a, blo- a broken clock right? Twice. Correct. Billy, where in your body is your MCL? Leg. Correct. Alex, the company Whammo owns the trademark to the name of what flying disc toy? Crispy. Correct. Billy, spell victorious. V-I-C-T-O-R-I-O-U-S. Correct. Alex, on Family Matters, the character known as Urkel had what first name? Pass. Steve, Billy, in 2018, that's going to be out of time. 14 steps. Um, I often say this is like a very good score, very winnable on Lizzie's side, but also very uh, losable on when he's, on Lizzie's side. So it's going to come down to those pushbacks. Um, and as, as a reminder, anytime that Lizzie gets one wrong, we will stop the clock. And if the team can get it right, they will push her back one step. That will obviously come into play here. I'm sorry, Billy. I don't care for sports or Eminem. No, you're totally good. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm gay. I don't know religious stuff. Yeah, no. I don't know. <laughs> it is time for the final chase. Lizzie, are you ready? I'm ready. <laughs> Your time begins. Now, what is the chemical symbol for potassium? Um, K. Correct. What is the only planet in our solar system not named after a Greek god or Roman god or goddess? Uh, Earth. Correct. In 2024, what artist won Album of the Year at the Grammys? Um, Taylor Swift. Correct. What is 64 times 2? Oh, 128. Correct. Tom Hanks' character moons Lyndon Johnson in what movie? Um, pass. Stop the clock. Tom Hanks' character moons Lyndon Johnson in what movie? Yeah, you don't have any idea. Okay. Um, what would he? What would he do? I mean, like, the, the pro, I don't think it's for. I, I, no. Um, All right, need an big, answer. Big. Final answer. The correct answer. Good morning. It's Forrest. Yeah. It's Forrest oh. Gump. Oh. It is Forrest. Fuck. Oh damn. Okay. All right, a minute and a half left to go. Ten oh, steps to fun. catch. Liz, your time begins again. Now, a mortar board is a hat typically worn during what type of ceremony? Um, baptism. Stop the clock, that is incorrect. A mortar board is a hat typically worn during what type of ceremony? A mortar board? Yes. What's the... What's the Jewish event? Do you remember, Billy? Bar There's something Jewish. Bar, yeah, bar mitzvah. Let's just go with a bar mitzvah. Oh, why not? Bar uh, no, this is... Gosh. Uh, that's incorrect. This is uh, the little cap that you wear at graduation. Oh, oh, no. <laughs> oh yeah, because we to- because I totally had an American graduation. Right, all the all the religious questions got us like. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay, no- nothing lost, nothing gained there. Your time starts again. Now, what professor is the arch enemy of Sherlock Holmes? Um, Bob. Stop. <laughs> is not Bob. No, no, no idea. <laughs> Wait, the arch nemesis of Sherlock Holmes? That is. Can you repeat question. the question? Yeah. What professor is the arch enemy of Sherlock Holmes? Professor Green. <laughs> <laughs> With the pipe. <laughs> um, sure. It doesn't, doesn't look like we're getting anywhere near it. This is uh, Moriarty. Moriarty, okay. <laughs> All right. Duh, Ten steps get. Minute 18 on the clock. Your time starts again now. Crisscross Words was an early vo- version of what classic board game? Um, Scrabble. Correct. Who played the lead role in the movie School of Rock? Uh, Jack Black. Correct. What does the acronym DIY stand for? Do it yourself. Correct. What is the capital of India? Um, mm-hmm. New Delhi. Correct. What is the primary language of Brazil? Portuguese. 
Correct. What is Japanese sake made from? Uh, like rice wine. Correct. What month of the year has the shortest name? Uh, May. Correct. Who founded the e-commerce retailer Amazon? Um, Jeff Bezos. Correct. What does the Richter scale measure? Uh, earthquake severity. Correct. Who is Winnie the Pooh's human friend? Christopher Robin. Correct. And you have caught the team with 30 Whoa! seconds to go. Well God done. Damn, that was a fucking bro. ridiculous streak, dude. <laughs> well done, well yeah, done. Went, ah, real hot streak there annoying. at the end. Um, well done, Lizzie. Lizzie, if, if if my memory serves, I believe this is your second victory this as a chaser. Victory. Yay! So, well done, and a, and a good team to beat, nonetheless. And uh, yeah, you, you not only get um, your revenge on Louise in the head-to-head, -head, but you take down the whole team. The oh, whole way. That's a win! <laughs> I'm that glad you all lost purely for what Billy put underneath his name. Yeah, no, <laughs> yeah. valid. <laughs> all right. That signs us off uh, for our winner, Lizzie, the socialite Travis, uh, and our international friends, Louise, Alex, and Billy. I'm Josh Gonzalez signing us off from The Chase.